Hi, so in last video we have learned to draw the circumcircle of any given triangle and in this video we are going to learn why this particular procedure works every time. So what we have done, we have drawn the perpendicular bisectors of any two sides and from the point where those two perpendicular bisectors meet, we have taken a radius equal to the distance between the point of intersection and any vertex any of these three vertices of the triangle and then if we draw the circle that becomes the circle which touches all the three points of the triangle right so when we draw the perpendicular bisector of ab it looked something like this so what is the speciality of this perpendicular bisector see if i take any point on this perpendicular bisector suppose if i take this point on the perpendicular bisector and draw a line to b and from the same point if i draw a line till a if i call this point as p and this point as q then these two triangles p a q this triangle and triangle p q b that means this triangle both of them will be congruent and why is it so because because AQ is equal to BQ. Since PQ is a perpendicular bisector of AB, that means it is perpendicular to AB and at the same time it divides it into two equal parts. So AQ is equal to BQ and PQ is a common line. So in both the triangles, PQ is equal to PQ and angle AQB is equal to 90 degrees and angle BQB is also equal to 90 degrees. That means these two triangles, AQP and triangle triangle BQP are congruent right so if those two triangles are congruent that means line AP is equal to line PB P can be any point on this perpendicular bisector and for each case this will be the condition that AP is equal to PB okay and now if I draw the perpendicular bisector of BC also what will be special about the point of intersection of those two perpendicular bisectors let us see so this orange is the perpendicular bisector of BC and they both intersect each other at this point. Let me call this as point O. So if I take this red line which is the perpendicular bisector of B, the lines joining this point to A or to B both will be equal. That means OA will be equal to OB and this point also lies this orange line which is the perpendicular bisector of BC. That means from this point if I draw a line joining OB and OC, both of them will also be equal or we can say OB is equal to OC. So from here, since OA is equal to OB and OB is equal to OC, that means OA is equal to OB is equal to OC or we can say if we make this point O as the center, either of them OA, OB or OC can be the radius of the circle which will pass through all these three points. So this is the logic behind the procedure of the circumcircle and in next video I think we will learn about the incircle and we will also learn the logic behind the procedure of drawing the incircle. So keep watching MathSmart and don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new videos. So bye bye till then.